Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to find patterns in middle school math. Now, when you're in middle school, finding patterns is a great way to start realizing um, you know, what patterns are and organizing your thoughts in a, a clear way. So, you know, you can start off with an easy pattern, one, two, three, four. Obviously, this is adding one. So have the middle school students identify what this pattern is. You know, this is x plus one, right? You can also have more complex patterns. Perhaps they're going down, um, you know, 30, uh, 30, um, well, maybe it's 30, 25, 20, then maybe it's x minus 5. Perhaps you're multiplying and then adding, um, you know, every, maybe the pattern skips each time. So maybe you start with 2 and you go to 3, right? You've added 1, but then you multiply and go to 6. And then you add 1 and go to 7, and you multiply um, and double it again to go to 14. So here the pattern is that you add 1 and then you double the number. So there's so many different ways that you can do this and the middle school students don't have to necessarily find equations yet like they will later on when they're in high school, but they should be able to identify what the pattern is and become familiar with that skill. I'm Rachel and thank you for learning with me today.